Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, we're gonna see how to color grade in Vegas Pro 17 like the proper way. A couple weeks ago, I created a video where I showed you guys like the new panel and everything that released with Vegas Pro at the beginning of August. Right now, we're back with a new video. I know my apartment has been like a mess. Furniture is all over the place. That's because we were actually painting the living room. There's only one wall left, but everything is vlogged as well. So you guys will see the progress. That's why I was a little bit inactive for the past two weeks but today we're gonna see how to color grade properly in vegas pro 17 so if you guys are excited make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and as always i would say let's get started right after the intro Right guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 17 and right now I have a clip of us actually working in the entire living room. This is just part of the vlog that's releasing next week when everything is completely done. So right now we're gonna basically color grade this clip a little bit more like, you know, it depends on like what you want, like cinematic or you want to add in like warm colors, color, like colder colors. So in order to actually do that, you would actually go to the video effects tab and then scroll all the way up until you see color uh, grade. But what I can recommend is to go to your keyboard and you want to press Alt and G. Then it's going to bring up these markers, which basically means that you can mess with the lift, the gamma, the gain and the offset. You don't want to pay attention to this vector scope, not really that much, but more on these four markers right here. Okay, so first of all, these four markers are actually going to impact your clip. But on top of that as well, you can also load in LUT filters. So right here it says look LUT. So if you click on there, you can actually like hit browse and you can you can actually actually select the dot cube files which are basically your LUT filters so let's go ahead and click on browse and then you can actually like manually look for the LUT filters load them in and then you can apply them onto your videos but right now those four markers we're going to actually focus on these ones so let's say that we want to apply a little bit more of a red kind of tint onto it if you're going to apply this and drag it to the red it's going to impact it a lot as you can see so you want to make sure that you will just apply it just a little bit because if you're going to do it too much it's going to look end up looking like this the red is just gonna be like overpowering your entire clip how much red you want apply onto it so let's go ahead and drag it just a little a tiny bit to the top left which is gonna impact the clip just a little bit now if you want to reverse everything or reverse this entire marker you just want to click on this undo button and then everything is gonna jump straight to zero again okay so right now the gamma is also a clip where you can actually like select the midtones and everything like that so if you drag it on you want to make sure that you will actually level the colors so if you're Gonna apply also red on the gamma you're actually cl your clip is going to look all red and it's not going to look natural so you just want to make sure to just for example drag this one into the blue or green kind of area now the gain is completely a different story this is going to actually set like a complete different tone onto your clip so if you drag this one to the pink one it will actually like also blend in with the blue just a little bit so what i would do for a cinematic look is you would just drag this one to the green or to the blue one of those two and that's going to make it look a little more cinematic than you than usual. If you want to create a cinematic preset, you would actually, for example, put this one a little bit more to the purple kind of side of things, or maybe a little bit more to the blue, because if you keep this on zero, it lo actually looks pretty, pretty accurate. So if you're going to also pay attention to those markers at the bottom, you can actually like select how intense the color is going to be in the offset and obviously the gain as well. So I would just mess around with those markers until you're happy with it. So I would say just also add in, like it looks like you're adding a little bit more contrast to it. But if you go to the lift, if you bring that down is gonna the contrast is gonna increase like quite a bit so I would just go ahead and drag it for example to 0 0.04 that's gonna actually like make it look very very nice the only thing that we've now covered is the color wheels but if you go to the color channels you can also check the red the green and the blue so if you drag it on you can also like change those markers up like separately so if you want to say the gamma has a little bit less red you can also add that in but if you say like the gain has a little bit too much green you can also bring down that marker and you can actually like level 
it that way. Okay, so another feature is like I've mentioned the input LUT where you can actually like browse and obviously like select your LUT, but you can also put you know, like change the strength. So let's say that you want to have a LUT filter, but not like at complete strength. You can also just bring down this marker, which is gonna like lower the opacity about halfway or just as much like as much as you want of that LUT filter. It's not gonna apply like the entire filter onto it. So let's say that one LUT filter is a little bit too strong. You can just actually like bring this down this strength marker and that's gonna actually like lower the opacity of that LUT filter. Okay, so on the very right, we have color curves. RGB stands for red, green, and blue. So let's say that you only want to have red, you know, focused on, you can just only select the red button and you can just mess with this marker and bring it down, bring it up. But you wanna, if you wanna like change up everything, you can just select RGB and then you can just mess with this paragraph right here. So you can actually like optimize it and see how you want this for yourself. But if you also want to like only change the blue, you can just select the blue checkbox and this line will also start to appear blue and you can also bring that up you can also bring it down and just make this clip look like how you want to need or actually like you know imagining like this clip for example a time lapse or just anything like that a cinematic role it really depends on what you want and what you're looking for basically now if you're just experimenting it's also very easy just to reset everything if you click on reset all that's just going to be the standard clip but what you can also do in terms of like color grading not necessarily like messing with all those markers separately is you can like load in the LUT filters and if you go to video effects right here it says LUT. What you can also do is press uh, Alt G again so those markers will disappear and right here you have all kinds of LUT filters you can apply onto your clip. So let's say that we're going to apply uh, this blue mood on here but let's say that we want to add in this cinema one but if we drag them over them it's going to look like very dramatic. So if you want to lower the opacity for example of the second LUT filter you want to go to strength and just ha um, you know bring that down halfway or even like just like three quarters of that entire filter so it's not going to look as strong and obviously you're like you're free to add in as many love fil filters as you want just make sure to just like mess with the opacity don't make sure that your clip doesn't look like oversaturated and that there's like 10 love filters on it with like the strength all the way up until like 10 because of you because otherwise you won't be able to tell like the cinematic look and it's just like it's just going to look like a little bit of a mess if you want to undo all those filters you have you want to have like a clean clip you can just bring up the orange and teal one you guys know that one and also just bring down the strength just a little bit so you can just apply other LUT filters on it as well. All right, guys, so beside all the color grading, if you're a content creator and you're looking for awesome effects, not sponsored in any way, if you're looking for assets, for explosions, music, sound effects, lower thirds, all everything you can imagine, make sure to check out the second link in the description. If you go to productioncrate.com, you will actually find like tons of free effects that you can get. They're to totally free. Just sign up for a free account and start downloading. But if you want to get like some next level premium effects, you can actually sign up for an account and get a pro membership for only $49 a year. That sounds a lot, but it's only four bucks a month. Just one less cup of coffee each month. You will get like access to so many, so many awesome effects, guys. The second link is in the description as well. So guys, I hope I cleared up some things about the color grading preset. If you press all G, all those markers will pop up. You can actually start color grading right now, next level in Vegas Pro 17. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching thank you so much for the continued support i'll see you guys on friday with a brand new vegas 17 tutorial as always so i'll see you guys in about two days